All right, my friends, my name is Jack Billings, and I'm the CEO and founder of Shed Knives. And today, I'm going to be going into why I use Kydex for my clips. This is a question I get quite a bit. I get this question a lot at Blade Show, and Blade Show Texas is kicking off, so I figured, let me talk about this. All right, but as always, I like to start the video with a question. And today's question is, what knife or knives are you carrying? For me, I have three today. Number one, the one in my hand, I have my Benchmade Osborne here, what I call the graduation edition, because I got this as a graduation gift. It says class of 2022 on the one side and Jack Billings on the other. We have the black G10 in S30V steel. Very nice. I'm using this one for my Kydex today, which is fantastic because we're talking about Kydex clips. Number two, I have my zero tolerance. This one is big blade I've been carrying for a few weeks now. Really like this one. This is CPM 20 CV, carbon fiber scales on one side, titanium on the other. There is a ZTM looking at that has maroon carbon fiber scales. So I like that one. I also thought about doing carbon fiber scales or at least liners for shed knives. So thought about that one. And then last but definitely not least, I have my shed knive skewer. Check this thing out. This is in Coyote Tan. If you've been following Shed Knives for a while now, you know I love the Coyote Tan G10. A lot of people think this is my Carta, specifically the Midnight Black they think is my Carta, but nope, I use G10 because in my opinion, it's one of the better materials on the market. So there we go, Kydex sheath, Kydex clip. So let me know what you're carrying down in the comments so that way we can continue the discussion. If you see someone with a cool carry you like, let them know because I'm sure it will make their day. All right, my friends, let's get into the video. Kydex is an interesting material. I order it in very large sheets like this so I can fly away like a bird. I'm kidding. It's because when you order so much, it makes stuff very affordable for both me and you. But how and why did I choose Kydex like this for my clips, which this is a Kydex clip in production right now. So I've got it shaped and now it's time to put this thing on the mill. But why do I use Kydex? That's a very good question. Well, really it comes down to cost. I'll be honest with you. It comes down to cost. There's no really like fancy answer like Kydex is the best clip design. No, no, no. There's nothing really crazy about Kydex clips other than really it's super light the cost, it's very affordable, which we'll get into in a second, and I already order Kydex for my sheaths, so I don't really have to go out of my way to order extra clips or anything crazy, and this is a way I can guarantee stuff is made in the USA. But let's do a little background on Kydex, okay? Both where did it come from and why do I use Kydex just in general? Well, Kydex is from Pennsylvania. It's made in Pennsylvania in the United States of America, favorite country. And Kydex was originally designed to be used in aircraft because it's super light like this. You see how I can stick my hand out like this? Let's see. There we go. Just like that. I can hold this massive sheet completely out there. I could do this all day long. And it's that light. Where if I tried this with G10, not happening my friend. So Kydex is super light and when you're in a plane or at least when you're making a plane you want stuff to be light because it would not make sense to make everything out of quarter inch steel where if you have Kydex which can be easily molded like this well hey there we go. Then once they started doing that somebody was like huh we can use Kydex for gun holsters and I don't know for sure, but I'm going to assume that was also part of the military. Something in the military. I feel like there was a connection, but I don't know, so don't quote me on that one. Just an assumption. But then, once more companies started using Kydex for gun holsters, because again, easy to mold, very affordable, USA made, all this good stuff. Then, there was a company that was like, huh. We can make knife holsters. We can make knife sheaths 
That's why a lot of people, when they see a Kydex knife sheath, they call it a holster, a knife holster, because they're used to seeing Kydex for gun holsters. So there's a little background. Fast forward to 2024, Shed Knives uses Kydex for my knife holsters or my knife sheaths, which is really interesting. But then I had a thought for 2023, uh, actually it may even go back to 2022 when I finished out the year with Kydex sheaths. I was thinking, huh, I need a good clip because I don't want to be like Benchmade and sell knives missing a clip, which they do on their several hundred dollar knives. So I thought, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw in a clip with every knife. But I don't want to jack up the price so high where I'm selling Chris Reeve priced knives for five or six hundred dollars, which for me, an easy cost, effective, and quality material was Kydex. And I started making Kydex clips in house, literally in this exact shop. That's where it came. And I have this design for a reason, okay? You can see how one side sticks out a little more than the other. So this side is completely flat, this side hangs off. And the reason for that is for, let's see here, if you can actually see it. The reason for that is so when you put it on your Kydex sheath, that the actual belt part kind of sticks off the sheath a little bit. So that way it's not like grinding up on the knife, grinding up on the actual sheath itself. So that's why I kind of stuck that out a little bit. And I had to get creative because Kydex is, when it's hot, it's kind of like, kind of like jelly, you could say. It's like paper, it just, boo, it's very, very fluid. And depending on how hot you get it to, which I bake mine now at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. So it's very hot, but it's easy to be flexed. So I make these clips like this. You can see how they split. And then I put them in a drill press so that way I can cut out or mill out the inside, which let me show you. Here's a clip in production. You can see Again, we have the general Kydex shape there for my clip, and then we have the holes there. Now the holes, I have these set up for a reason. Because all my sheaths are done by hand, all the drilling, all the shaping, all that stuff, it's done by hand, the Kydex holes or the grommets will not be exact to the millimeter on every single knife. And if you're curious on why I said millimeters, check out the video in the corner where I explain my knife designing process on why I use millimeters as well. But anyways, the holes here, I have this set up. Here, this is a, this is a better view for you. I have this set up so you can adjust where you want it. You can adjust the height of the clip, number one, and you can have different grommet widths, different grommet lengths, and the same clip will work. Now I have gotten some comments about and emails about my grommets and how they are not universal for all Kydex and just general clips for these Kydex sheaths, which I thought, yes, that's very true. That was not intentional, by the way, but I also thought this gives an opportunity for more people, more companies specifically, to adopt this kind of universal clip style. There is a hole drilled in here, so if you need it to not slide and you need a, a very secure mounting spot, you have one hole, and then you have this milled line right here that you can use for that variation in grommet width, you could say. And you can throw this clip on different knives too. So that's really why I use it. Also, Kydex is extremely, extremely, extremely cost effective. That's why I don't charge an arm and a leg for my knives. Everything is 100% USA made. And again, I'm going to say this again. When you buy Kydex like this in massive sheets, which these were cut down by the way, when you buy a ton of Kydex, it saves a lot of money, which is really good for me, which I could jack my prices up and sell crazy three and four hundred dollar knives, but then I also need you guys to save on the cash too, so that helps because I'm looking out for you guys. And just in manufacturing, manufacturing is not a very, how do I say this, 
linear cost. <laughs> Manufacturing does not cost the same on a daily basis. Some days it's very cost effective. Some days it will eat your bank account up alive and it's, it's crazy. So having affordable materials makes things easier to work with. So having the Kydex clips are cost effective and that's why if you send me an email, hey Jack, I broke my clip, or hey, something happened with my clip, I'll most likely just send you a new one if you've already bought something from Shed Knives. So that's why I do that, where other companies, they will try to figure out what happened, can I get a photo, blah, 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 blah. All, this, all this other stuff, wasting time. Really the most I will say is, how'd that happen? I'm just curious, because that way I can improve my designs, I can improve my product, and I'm just curious because I break stuff too. Yes, I make knives, but I like to test stuff. I break stuff sometimes. I'm just curious, hey, how'd you how'd you break your your knife, your almost quarter inch knife? How'd you break your clip? That's it. Which, by the way, I've never heard of anyone breaking my knives at all. I haven't heard of anyone doing that. So anyways, if there are any issues with a clip, I will replace it because again, this isn't some like crazy titanium super CNC milled clip. I can do that for you, no problem. And yes, I have my CNC machine right here, which is it's here. If the camera was a little bit wider, you could see it. Anyways, I thought about milling my own clips, but I was like, no, why, why would I? That's more time, that's more money, and things should not be slow and expensive. That doesn't help. Uh, so, anyways, there are some of my thoughts and background on my Kydex clip. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any further questions, let me know. The, I'd say the biggest question I get about Kydex clips, other than why did you choose Kydex for your clip material, is how strong is it? Right now, it is very flexible, it is very weak. That is because I'm using the farthest ends, okay? So that's why it looks like this. But when it's actually on my belt, it flexes a little bit, but I kind of want it to flex, I'll be honest. I kind of want it, because if I get snagged on something, I don't want... If I get snagged on something, I just don't want to like be stuck to it. I want to be able to flex and move. And if you need something more solid, then just adjust your clip. Like, adjust the position of it, and that way it'll be more solid. Also, you can just put two clips on, so boom, even more solid. You don't need to worry about that. So, hopefully that answers that question. Uh, maybe someone will ask about it, I don't know. But figured I would cover that. And in the meantime, I've got a lot of knives to get, because the people need their knives. For example, let me show you this beautiful... Tuatara, Shed Knives Tuatara, customer ordered in G10, well obviously G10, no other material is better than G10, but I have the G10 in OD Green, and fantastic Tuatara, I have a few of these left, so if you want to pick one up with your Kydex clip, they come with every knife, by the way, for on ShedKnives.com, all you have to do, go to ShedKnives.com, check it out, if you have any questions, send me an email, sales at shedknives.com. I will let you know this though, for comments and emails and that stuff, I'm going to catch up on all of that stuff Saturday. Saturday, I'm dedicating to kind of catch up, getting orders out, getting contact out, getting just anything that was sent in, I'm gonna do my rebound on Saturday. So if you asked a question and you're wondering where something is or you have a question about something, just please know I'm not ignoring you. Just there are literally so many knives here to get out that, oh my goodness, I've dedicated the last like 10 something days, I don't know, a lot of days. I've, I've dedicated quite a few days in a row in the shop, just wow insane which i usually don't spend like that many days in a row here because i have like youtube videos to get out of social media i have all these other things to do as well but again the people my friends the shed knives community they need their knives and i'm the guy to get them to you so that's what i've been doing I, and i'll say it one last time i have taken a little pause from some of the other social media stuff I'm doing. Like Instagram used to be crazy on that one. TikTok posted like five times a day there. 
I decided I'm going to take a little pause, brief pause on the social media, so that way I can get the knives out, I can get the awesome knives out, and that way I can build up some ideas and new things just, yeah, because the 2024s are coming out very soon, which I have material for, by the way. More material is showing up, and yes, so once I get the 23s out into the mail, into your hands, which quite a few of you guys have already gotten them, I've gotten some emails from you, so thank you. Once everything is out, then I can get the 24s going, and wow, this is gonna be fantastic. The 24s are gonna be at a completely new level, I'm very excited for that. I don't have an exact drop date yet. Yeah, we're almost three months into 2024, but guess what? You can't rush excellence. If you want to be the best, you better do stuff right. And I have some amazing Shed Knives brand stuff coming here soon as well. So just a lot, a lot, a lot of both effort and new things coming out into the market which is fantastic, my friends, fantastic. And I appreciate your support. I appreciate all the positive energy, positive comments, positive just everything you guys contribute to Shed Knives. It definitely keeps me going. And I believe that's it. I believe that's it. Let me show off the CNC machine. Hold on, why, why not? Let's show it off. Bang, here we go. Tormach 770M, fantastic. Fantastic. Let me move my Kydex sheet out of the way. Right now, it's pretty much like a table I'm using for my knives. I've got 12 knives here. I've got another like dozen over there. So there's a lot of knives being worked. But once I get this thing set up, which I'll do some more videos on getting the Tormach set up, then this thing will be a fully functioning robot in the shed knife shop and wow this is gonna be this is gonna be crazy so awesome 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 i'm very excited for this one we got a lot of great things happening and if you want to join the movement if you want to join the shed knives movement of full knife enthusiasts fixed blade knife enthusiasts specifically all you have to do is hit the subscribe that's it get notified for daily knife content resources information showing off knives showing off cool stuff wow there's a lot of great stuff coming here soon there's a lot of great stuff already happening so you don't even need to wait for it all you gotta do hit the subscribe share with a friend if you found value in this video and i think that brings me to the, the very end so thank you all for your support my name is jack i make knives and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching